Hello my friend, welcome back or welcome if you are new here. So, I'm making oatmeal. Finally, the weather is getting a little bit cooler and oatmeal just hit different. So, here's how I make it. Uh, by the way, there is no exact measurement. I just eyeball everything, but it's fine. I feel like you can adjust it to your taste. So here I just put some oat and a little bit of chia seed. I usually don't add chia seed, but that day I felt a little bit fancy. And for sweetness, I chopped three date and apple for topping. Then I added water to the oat, chia seed, and date mixture. Microwave it for one minute or one minute and 30 seconds. I prefer cooking my oatmeal in the microwave because it's faster and less dishes for me after cooking i add some apple pie spices you can just add cinnamon and then add a little bit of salt a splash of soy milk then mix it together so i added a little bit of date molasses i usually don't do that but but the date that i've used were not that sweet for some reason so yeah i needed a little bit of sweetness so i added that topped it with apple peanut butter and ta-da a cozy breakfast so today is editing day and my editing process have been slow these days my last video it took me a week to edit and i feel like i can done it like in three days i used to edit my video like edit them in one maximum two days and then do the details in one day like details and review and just post them but i feel like since i got the pc it's been a little bit slower because i want to just explore the editing app and learn more but i don't give myself the time to learn because i always pressure myself to finish things faster and when i finish editing i have to like focus on my art, drawing, making like stickers and print and then when I'm done with that I go to editing mode again and I rush through it so so I need to give myself the time to learn I don't know when but I'm gonna try I overcooked it, but it's okay. I'm not okay. That's why I don't like watching medical K-drama because I know I will cry. I don't know if you can relate, but in real life, I don't cry. Like, if anything happened, I will be like, what's happening? But then if I like listen to a sad song or like so an anime or like a sad K-drama, I will release every single emotion even if i did not experience what they experienced for some reason i can feel their emotion yeah i feel like every person have a way to express their feeling and i express them through k-drama and anime and songs sometimes i'll be like listening to a high beat song i'll be like in a good mood and then my playlist switch to a sad song i'll be crying and I talk to myself, I'd be like, are you crazy? Are you okay? <laughs> Past me from the morning was so excited and motivated to do her laundry and to wash her bed sheet. I need to sleep right now.
but I need to change my bed sheets. Plus, my laundry on top of my bed and I need to fold them. And I know I'm gonna watch a YouTube video while doing this and it's gonna take 40 to 50 minutes. And that's why I don't sleep early. Um, this is turning into a cooking channel, but that's because I was editing during that time, so there was nothing interesting to film. Anyway, I'm making a soba noodle salad, and I've made noodle salad in previous videos, but this one is a little bit different. So first, cook the noodles. I would highly recommend the green tea one, but I did not have any, so I used the buckwheat one. Then I wash it with cold ice water and let it cool for a while. So for dressing, I'm using the roasted sesame dressing. I have these two brands, but I personally prefer the QB one, but you can choose whatever brand you have. So in a bowl, add the noodles and add a little bit of dressing because sometimes when I add the dressing on top, it does not reach the noodles on the bottom so adding it first to the noodles kind of balance it out plus it prevents the noodles from sticking together lettuce cucumber green onions and avocado for topping and for my protein i put some roasted chicken but you can add other stuff like boiled egg salmon tofu or you can even skip it you do you more dressing and ta-da i am starving i got some sushi that I don't think they are like sushi. They're more close to kimbap than sushi, but it said sushi, so it's sushi. Every time I film myself eating, it's always the sushi. And I don't eat it that often. I just, whenever I'm filming, it appears that I have it or go buy it. So I eat it like once every two or three weeks. It's really good. And I brought the sauce just for extra sauce if I need it because sometimes the sauce didn't don't go all the way down. So mm, you need to try this. It's really really nice and addictive, and it is so fresh. Bismillah. Ten out of ten. I went to the grocery store today. That's why I have these. I usually like try the best of my abilities to. When the grocery store is not that busy, I will go before the birds wake up. But I just, I don't like, like I really love shopping without someone standing behind me waiting for me to pick up something from, from the shelf. I just, I don't like it because like I stand in front of the shelf and I kind of imagine, oh, well, if I use this ingredient, I will make that recipe. And I just, it's fun for me. But when it's packed, it's not fun for me. But today it was so packed. It was a nightmare and it's packed and people are moving fast and I'm tired <laughs> and I said oh when well, no, I will go grocery shopping today and then I'll come back I will work out make me a nice lunch uh, that did not happen I made a nice lunch but I did not work out I just the, the trip to the grocery store was a workout itself to be honest does anyone like me the ready food section at the end of the grocery store so at that point i'm just really hungry and i tell myself no you bought all of these things the ingredients are more than enough you can cook a lot of delicious meal but i want some sushi i know i can make it by myself but i'm just i want to come back home take a shower and the sushi is ready that's it i don't have anything else to say <laughs> I feel so unmotivated today and I need a nap. Yesterday I had been pretty much the whole day sketching. Not the whole day, but I was in the zone. I was out of the zone for a long time. I've been like sketching in the past, but I feel like I forced myself. Yesterday was like so nice. My elbow just cracked on the table. And I want to show you what I sketched. This is the... This one is so cute look at this one i don't know if i'm gonna change it later but this is the first one this is the second one this is the i still feel like it needed some change but i'm gonna see this is how i originally sketch it but i thought you know since i made this cute i need to make this cute so i thought oh should i make it like the airplane as a shape of like an animal or like a vegetable i thought of a carrot because the airplane 
playing kind of shape like a carrot but i don't know maybe i will see and then when i thought of that i was like oh a boat shaped like a banana and a monkey anyway and then i kind of want to draw other character not just stick to my own characters so i've been sketching some cute animals this is a teddy bear bunny a dog and this is like another angle i've been just doodling some ideas and i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do right now my mind is so foggy <laughs> i cannot think <laughs> so i'm back after one hour nap nap are confusing sometimes you need a quick one to get you through the day but sometimes i regret napping because it makes me feel worse and grumpy for some reason so yeah it depends but on that day that nap was everything i needed so finally drawing something go me and it is that time that time that we need to prepare for the next shop update so for this shop update i feel a little bit lost not because i don't have any ideas in fact i have a lot of ideas but i don't know how to organize them and i end up feeling a little bit stuck in my thoughts so usually i plan what product that i will make and then design them but this time i thought i will just draw whatever i want and then with these drawing i will see what i'm going to make with them i just want to see ideas in front of me so i can be inspired by them it might not be the best method but that was what working for me and i was just in the sketching zone i've been out of the zone for a while but now i am enjoying it i think one of the reason why i feel inspired to draw again is because the weather has been so nice these days and I can open the window while I draw or I can sit outside listening to the birds, feeling the cold breeze. In the past, I really underestimate how the weather can play a huge impact on your mood, motivation and inspiration. But it really does. If you feel trapped or unmotivated, just take a quick 5 minute or like 10 minute walk or you can just sit outside or open the window you will really feel a huge difference in your mood and that's of course depend on how the weather climate in your country sometimes you cannot help it but if you have a good weather day take full advantage of it and that's what i'm going to do before the weather get a little bit too cold hello future me editing me is here uh, I forgot to film the result, so uh, this is the final result. I've been into this kind of background, the pattern one, and I did the same with the pumpkin. I feel like it's so nice. I did two colors. This is the first color palette, and this is the second one. It's the same color palette, but reverse. I don't know. I like the first one much better. And yesterday, I drew this one. I did not film it because I drew it when i was sitting outside so this is how it look i don't know if i'm gonna change it or not i'm gonna see if you want to see that you can follow me on my instagram uh please follow me on instagram because instagrams hate me the algorithm hate me there so follow me there if you like i post everything there i did more sketching here so more drawing coming on the next vlog i think i might make a sticker sheet with this one i'm gonna talk about that more in the next vlog so yeah back to the video Today is reset slash rest day and the weather is perfect. I'm excited to finish cleaning so I can get cozy, play some cozy game or watch a cozy movie. I don't know, make a cozy drink. It rained earlier but I suspected that it will rain again and it's gonna be good. <laughs> On a late winter evening, a young man was riding his bike on his way to visit a friend. Unfortunately, he never arrived. This is the true unsolved case of the Seika Manga student incident. Mm -hmm. 